What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today what I have for you guys, we're going to be going over all the upcoming DLC weapons that we have in the Season 5 update. The best part is we actually got early gameplay footage of what the weapons are going to look like of the STG, the brand new SMG, some of the aftermarket parts, and all that good stuff. So that's what we're going to talk about and showcase within today's video. If you do find it helpful or informative, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. A reminder, yesterday I posted a very important video on how you can get yourself a Black Ops 6 beta code, and that's going to only be available for one day starting tomorrow so if you don't know the details i highly recommend you go and check out that video so that way you can get yourself a beta code before we get into it a quick word from our sponsor messymoddingstore.com it's a store that can get you the most exclusive operators help you complete your mastery camo challenges and much more and the reason why i promote them is they do everything 100 legit without using mods or unlock tools and not to mention they have some of the best reviews so check them out the link will be down in the description now here are the details that we have in regards to all of the weapons they said tackle the battles ahead with new armament beginning with a beast of an SMG and a time-honored assault rifle before moving on to less conventional weaponry later in the season. So the very first weapon that we have is called the Static HV. This is the Celtic SMG that was previously leaked. It is going to be a submachine gun available at launch within Battle Pass Sector number 6, which this is the area that it's available within the Battle Pass. It has a total of 18 levels. There's also a weapon blueprint for that, which will be available in Sector 17. This is the photo that they provide of that. Now, I don't want to just give you information straight from the blog post only. So here is some gameplay footage of what this weapon looks like within the range. It looks like some leakers were able to load up the season five update early and get early gameplay footage of the weapons. The clip is only around 17 seconds. It fully showcases the weapon in terms of what it looks like within the firing range when you shoot it. And you can see at the very bottom, it shows that it has 50 rounds and this is the base version. So there's no attachments on this thing. And in the blog post, Call of Duty said, bring the compact lethality to the battlefield with a small SMG, which you can see it is a small SMG, chambered in 5.7 by 28 millimeters. The weapon boosts a high rate of fire, which they also did showcase here, and a significant ammo capacity with a base of 50 round in its factory magazine. So as I told you, no attachments and it has 50. And it says like a bite-sized LMG, the static HV keeps on firing through even the thickest of fights. Overwhelm your opponents with a hail of fire and use gunsmith to specialize in hip fire, tax stance, or ADS. Try different ammunition attachments and test out various muzzle and barrel combinations to squeeze out the most of this close quarters and needler. And in my opinion, it's definitely something that's probably going to need some big recoil control attachments to it. You can see that when they were firing it here in the range, the recoil was a little bit crazy and it looked like it was very hard to control, but obviously you won't know until you actually get the experience and use it for yourself. But that's just my guess is that you're probably going to need some attachments with that. But the next weapon that we have is going to be the STG assault rifle. This will also be available at launch of the first day of season five. It's going to be available in battle pass sector number seven. This is where it's located on the battle pass map. The weapon is going to have a total of 21 levels that you'll need to get. There's also going to be a weapon blueprint for this one available at sector 19. And once again, we also got early gameplay of this weapon. And this is what it looks like with the black cell weapon blueprint. And I believe the name for that is like Dymacaris or something like that. They went ahead and showed it within like the little pre-select lobby. You don't really get to see them shoot it or anything like that. They're just showing off the Black Cell weapon blueprint and what that looks like. But then they actually go into the range with a different weapon blueprint. This one is called the Cuddler, but it's still for the STG-44. They jump into the range, showcase a little bit of what that fire rate looks like and what the recoil control looks like. And then they also do the inspect animation for the weapon as well as the reloading. And this is what it looks like. Now there's also another clip already being shown this is a different weapon blueprint also for the stg 44 once again same exact type of showcase they shoot it a little bit in the range reloaded and inspected and this is what it looks like now at the same time call of duty did say that the rifle that heralded the age of assault rifles as a global standard it's fully automatic chambered in 7.92 by 33 millimeters this is a hard-hitting primary weapon that power results in a signature recoil pattern that though noticeable is easy to control for accurate fire. The weapon's high quality iron size potentially free up an extra attachment slot if you forgo an optic. Fine tune your play style in the gunsmith with attachments like a 60 round mag and the recoil reducing Jack BFB aftermarket part. However you build it, it's powerful base ensures you'll come out with a reliable weapon. So they're sort of already confirming that this will be a meta weapon you'll be able to use in the season five update. But going on to the next weapon that we have, this is the spear melee weapon, which will be available in the mid season update 
via the battle pass sector unlock and challenges it's gonna have a total of six levels as you guys know with the classified sector that doesn't come in until the reloaded update you need to do like five or six different challenges and once you complete all of them you will end up unlocking the weapon they do provide a photo of that we did get early gameplay within the trailer and they said fight like the ancients with a throwable spear built for the demands of modern combat three spears are provided at each spawn they throw fast and straight with a reticle provided to account for various distances Thrown spears can be retrieved from the environment and at least one should be kept for the weapon's rapid piercing strikes in close quarters. And then you also have the gameplay footage that they showcase within the trailer. It was only like two seconds long, but you can see that they fully do throw it. And as soon as you throw it, you end up getting a second one, which you can throw and you're basically able to spam three of them at a time up until you run up there and go grab the other one. And it is a one shot kill. Now I do wonder, are they going to make it a one shot in Warzone, and will this thing be overpowered? But the next weapon that we have, this one is called the Torque 35. This will also be considered a launcher, but this is actually the compound bow available in the mid season update as well. And this is going to be through a set of weekly challenges. There's a total of six levels that you'll be able to get with this weapon. It says wield a compound bow with 20 retrievable arrows, a red dot sight for accurate shots on target, and a weapon inspect animation that shouldn't be missed. The bow's excellent handling allows quick follow-up shots and in close quarter fights the option to fire off the hip keeping you light on your feet, pull back for longer to increase the strength and velocity of each shot, and get creative with an array of ammunition options, including arrowheads equipped with thermite, explosive, and gas cartridges, both the spear and the torque can pin enemies against the wall. So stick your insertion points accordingly. Now, unfortunately, this is the only weapon that we really don't have gameplay of. And because it releases in the mid-season update, so later on during Reloaded when it's actually added, we will have early gameplay footage of that. But at the moment, this is not a weapon that you'll be able to see at the very start of Season 5. But going on, we have another set of weapons, and these are all the upcoming aftermarket parts. Now, there's six brand new aftermarket parts that are going to be added in the update. Usually, the first four are added in the first half of the update, and then the other two are added later on during Reloaded. And they mention right here, get attached to six new aftermarket parts being introduced in Season 5, usually unlockable via weekly challenges like the Jack Cataclysm for the RPK LMG pictured above, which is, this is one of the photos. And then Warzone Mobile's connected to all this. But let's talk about the descriptions and the early gameplay that we have. So the very first one that they mention is called the Jack Wide Mouth Barrel. This is compatible for the Morris Sniper Rifle. It says a wide mouth barrel crafted to accommodate magnetic ball bearings that shatter upon firing creating a barrage of small and lethal projectiles. And this is the early gameplay footage that we have of it. They loaded it up on Warzone Mobile even before the season update ended up going live. So that's how we sort of knew that this aftermarket part was going to be coming in. And if you've seen some of the previous videos and you've already seen this gameplay footage, but this is the first weapon that we have. Now, they don't mention if this is in any particular order. So if it is, then maybe this will be releasing in week one. But the next one that we have is called the Jack Slash. It's compatible with many weapons with under barrel capabilities. This under barrel vertical grip doubles as a combat knife replacing your melee attack with a lethal slash so and what i'm getting from this is basically like the tactical knife that you were able to put on in like say mw2 as an attachment for your pistol but now you're able to do that with a bunch of different weapons and they don't really give any categories but that's how i'm imagining that they're going to be doing this it definitely looks like it could be a pretty interesting aftermarket part but the next one that we have is called the jack proteon this is compatible with the raw mg it says this conversion kit turns the raw into a highly adaptable prototype weapon with a telescoping barrel that can be toggled between full auto and semi-auto fire offering suppressive fire and precision in the same weapon so it looks like the leaks were right about us getting new aftermarket parts for some lmg so not only this one but there's also one for the rpk called the jack cataclysm command the battle rifle with a 0.50 cal conversion kit for the rpk slow yet powerful with a high capacity drum mag this kit is your enemy's nightmare so it's basically turning it into like a sniper rifle which is actually going to be pretty insane and then you have the next one called the jack devastators this is compatible with the reclaimer 18 shotgun it says dual wield reclaimer 18 shotguns and and become a mobile artillery barrage with this aftermarket part accuracy and recoil control are minimal but destruction is maximized and this is one of the aftermarket parts that i'm actually looking forward to because first off the inspect is insane on this weapon i've showcased it already before in a couple videos but i just want to showcase it once again just so you can see what that looks like but it's just the fact that they put in all this effort into that inspect and i definitely feel like it could be a potential meta for those of you guys who play warzone just based on having dual wield spazzes being so overpowered you could probably clear an entire building with that but the next one that we have which is the last one is called the jack death march compatible with the bow 27 ar this aftermarket part replaces the standard ammo with high voltage power cells 
and the barrel with a photonic scatter barrel fire a spread of lethal laser blast that take down enemies short range and we've talked about this one before because we did get early gameplay where they were able to load it into warzone mobile it's basically a weapon that shoots unlimited bullets you don't have to worry about that the only thing you worry about is the overheating so you're not able to just continuously keep spraying it but you will need to be careful that it doesn't overheat so when it gets close to that you stop Wait for it to cool down a little bit and then you can spray it once again. But these are all the aftermarket parts that are going to be arriving as well as the DLC weapons that we're getting in Season 5. What are your thoughts and opinions? Do you guys think this was a good selection? A lot of the leaked weapons that people have been waiting for are going to be coming in such as the spear, the SDG, the compound bow. So it is looking like a big W. But anyways, that's all they got for you guys in this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you found the video helpful or informative, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We're very close to 400k. But it's been your boy Trizzo and hopefully I'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again. Peace.